Monday morning. A happy day, everybody. I hope you had a great weekend. Of course, we are celebrating that week, the most important week in a Christian's life, Easter, the day that the real deal happened. And we know that he is alive. He is alive. And today, I'm so excited that we're able to share something with you that um, we did a long time ago. And it was kind of weird when I stepped out of my car this morning and got up here. I was like, whoa, it's cold. Well, the day that we did this, we were on top of Fields of the Wood at the top of the mountain by the cross, by the Bible, and Matt Dibler delivered a message that you're going to get to hear today. And I'm excited because when I got out of the car, I thought, it's kind of gloom and doom like that day was. But the day progressed and the sun came out and it was just a wonderful, wonderful day to share fellowship when we got to the mountain for the message, there were so many of y'all standing there waiting on us. And when I was looking at the film, I thought there's so many of those people who have gone to be with Jesus. Well, what would be wrong with going to be with Jesus? And we're going to talk a little bit about the things that have happened over the weekend because there are so many good things happening. There are so many amazing people um, that you're reconnecting with or spending time with that are just good folks. And then... We turn on the news, and something happened up in Ohio that has really, it's kind of blown my mind because Zanna is 19 months old, a child, 16-month-old baby. Now, y'all are going to think this is a lie, but I want you to check it out and, uh, and read the whole story. Don't watch the whole trial because it will absolutely depress you to death because I made the mistake of watching the whole thing. A 32-year-old mom leaves her 16-month-old child in a pack-and-play, which is like a playpen, but it was a smaller version of a playpen, with a couple of baby bottles, and leaves her for 10 or 11 days to go on vacation with two different men. She goes to Puerto Rico with one man. She comes back, and she goes to Michigan with another man. Never did she even go home and check on this child. Now, let me tell you about Xana. If Xana's out of sight for about 30 seconds, Ansley Elizabeth is on top of her, trying to figure out where she is, what she's doing. Has she taken a step she shouldn't have taken? Can you imagine? And, and I wish I hadn't watched this trial because um, they gave the mom life plus about 25 years. That's not enough. But they also told her that they would put her in a jail cell where they would probably treat her as, as well as they treat as she left her child. And I, I kind of was encouraged by that. But watching the forensic scientist who had to do the autopsy on this child, we think this world is messed up because we're seeing some crazy things happening. I never thought I would live to see anything like this stupid thing. It was crazy, it was sad, it was depressing, and the worst thing about it is one of the neighbors had a ring camera that picked up this baby child at 1 a.m. screaming, blood-curdling screams. We don't know if it was on the second day, the third day, the fourth day, or the fifth day, but nobody knew that the mom had left this child alone. So nobody knew to call the fire department, nobody knew to call the police department. So I am on a campaign now. If you see something that looks crazy, call the authorities. You know, if you hear something that sounds absolutely crazy, call the authorities. And a few weeks ago when we were talking about child abuse and, and, and moms who just can't handle their kids, I had seen something that I didn't report. And I swear when this story came out, all I thought about is those, those little kids I saw in that car that day and if you see something, just say something. Just, just get somebody to check up on them because maybe everything's okay and it's just a weird situation. But would you ever dream that if you live next door to somebody that you saw coming and going every single day and then for 10 or 11 days you didn't see a car come or go but you heard blood-curdling screams from the house, there was a child in there alone in a pack-and-play. And they said, I believe when she was found, she weighed either 11 or 18 pounds, that she had lost that much weight in 10 days. Precious, precious little girl. And it just blew my mind. I mean, Ansley just got sick watching it. She was like, I, I just can't imagine. I cannot imagine doing this. 
But the mom was a 32-year-old single mom, had another child. Her parents took the other child and went on vacation and left her at home with the young child. Now, I don't know if she thought she deserved a vacation or not. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened in her mind. I cannot even imagine. I cannot imagine what happened in that little child's mind because I see Zanna's reaction. If Ansley walks out of the room, Zanna goes after her mama. Zanna is always looking for her mama. And you think about a child who was left in a pack and play for 10 or 11 days. And um, when the mom got home from her two, two vacations, she found the baby had passed away. She cleaned it up, dressed it differently, and then called the authorities and told a big farce of a lie of what happened, which was just even worse, add, add, add bad, to, bad to worse. It was horrible. But I watched that whole trial. Don't watch the whole trial because you'll be angry. You'll be mad and you'll want to do something about it. There's nothing we can do except pray for that little child's spirit because at, um, you know, at 18 months old she, or at 16 months old, she went to be with the Lord. So now she'll never hurt again. She'll never cry again. She'll be okay. And, and I said, maybe that's the good thing about this story. Maybe that child's life wasn't good here on earth, but it is now. So... So say a prayer for um, just that baby's spirit. Just It just absolutely blew my mind. And, and seeing Zanna this weekend, she was on top of her game. Now, she was into everything. And I just, it just, I just kept looking at her, looking at that baby's picture, looking at her and looking at that baby's picture and thought, God, why can't all children be born to wonderful families? And why can't all children be loved and nurtured and, and treasured as they should be treasured? So... So again, if you haven't seen that story, it's all over YouTube. And I kind of wish I hadn't seen the whole trial because it was, it, was pretty, it was pretty horrific. But the good thing is if you see something, say something. Don't let, um, don't let this happen to anybody else. And I can't imagine. I, just, I, I can't imagine in my lifetime that this would ever happen, but it did. We're going to share some photos with y'all from downtown ball ground because somebody came to visit this weekend. It was the Easter Bunny. And Evelyn and I had this little uh, thing. We made goodie bags and handed them out with the Easter Bunny visiting with children, visiting with adults, and uh, we had a really, really good time. And I can tell you the Easter Bunny was rocking and rolling. He was doing, he was all over town, everywhere, Everybody got to see the bunny, and everybody got to have their pictures made, and it was just a fun, fun day, and thank goodness the weather held off. But I want y'all to all make plans to come to downtown ball ground this Saturday. The Methodist Church and the Baptist Church are getting together to have a huge Easter egg hunt at Calvin Farmer Park, and every single one of y'all are invited to it. Bring your children, bring your cameras. Easter bunny will be there too, so you can get some pictures made. And again, this is this coming Saturday, so please make plans to be there. And it's the Methodist Church and the Baptist Church getting together. And uh, March the 30th, it starts at 1 p.m. at Calvin Farmer Park. And I will tell you, you can park over at the community building because that's where the best parking will be. It will be packed, but it will be so much fun. And again, great opportunity. Now look at that. That's, that's what Zanna was doing Wow, we were watching this thing uh, about the other story, and I just kept looking over there thinking, oh, my gosh, this precious child, what a gift from God. What a gift from God. Look at that. Her mouth is full of teeth now, y'all. I never saw a kid's teeth come in so fast. She's got teeth. Lordy me, she could line some of us old folks' teeth. So she is just something else, just something else. And uh, she is truly her mama's pride and joy. He didn't stay dead, and he won't stay gone. That is this week's theme, and uh, we all know that that tomb is empty. We all know that he is coming back, and I'm saying when he comes back, he's going to be spanking some of us because there's some stuff going on that should never have gone on. But he didn't stay dead, and he won't stay gone, and we know that. And thank goodness, thank goodness, that makes everything that we face every single day. Now, look at that. You talk about attitude. <laughs> is that not the cutest thing? Oh, my gosh, she's got, yeah, she had a little attitude going on. And uh, she loves shoes and loves trying on shoes, but when she gets ready to take them off, you might as well just suck it up, Buttercup. She's taking those shoes off. She's done. <laughs> she's done. So how cute, how cute, how cute. And there is our Easter bunny. 
and the Ball Ground Tavern. If you haven't eaten there, they have, I love their barbecue chicken nachos. I have that all the time, and it's just, I love it. But I have it over a bed of lettuce. I confuse them to death because I say, I want barbecue chicken nachos, but I don't want the nachos. I just want a barbecue chicken and a bed of lettuce and some cheese and guacamole and sour cream, and it's really, really good. So, so but the bunny was all over town, and a lot of folks got to have their picture made, and it was just a fun, fun day to get out. And I can tell you, ball ground was packed. It was absolutely packed. All the tables were full. The park was full. The streets were full. Parking was full. Everybody was having a good, good time. And people came from everywhere. It was funny to me to see all the license plates, but um, it, was, it was a fun day. And again, the bunny will be back in town this weekend on Saturday. So if you didn't get a chance to have your picture made with the Easter bunny, he will be around on Saturday. He will be close enough to our office that you can stop by and say, hey, where's the bunny? And we can tell you. We'll locate him for you. So, But just a fun, fun weekend. And uh, he loves, I'll tell you, the Easter Bunny loves Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. He loves them. And uh, that's one of those things. you got to find out. you got to get an edge on it with that bunny so he'll bring you a big basket and a whole bunch of good stuff. So... if you And look at that, y'all. Is that not sweet? Oh, my gosh. What a happy, happy little girl. We are so blessed. We are so blessed, so beyond blessed. And speaking of blessed, this weekend we're going to have um, the Angel Babies, um, the store I told you all about last week where I bought all those cute clothes for very little money, is going to be on with us on Wednesday, and I'm excited about that. Now, this is progress. Do you all see that full moon? I was out about 7 o'clock <coughs> Saturday night at Malone's Pond taking pictures, and I got a call, and if you don't think that God is real in your life, I'm standing on lot 57 taking a picture of the full moon, and I get a call from the folks who are buying lot 57, and it was so funny. I said, that is so weird. I'm standing right here on your property, so it was, it was really neat. But the full moon this weekend was absolutely beautiful, and if you haven't been sleeping and you've been acting crazy, this morning I think everybody on 515 was reacting from the full moon because everybody was driving like maniacs. Way too fast, way too fast. And with that attitude, you know how when people get an attitude, ugh, they, they all had attitudes this morning, but... But, but look at that full moon. It's beautiful, 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 even though it does drive you crazy when you can't sleep. But... A full moon, absolutely gorgeous. We're going to have a day today of reflecting, of sharing music. And look at that. When Xana grows up, she's going to spank her nanny for showing them little fat legs. But is that not precious? She loves to try on shoes. She loves to try on shoes. Now, she tries them on. She runs around in for a minute. She comes back and changes shoes. She is so funny and so full of life. And that's what... I think everybody needs one of those in their backyard. Is that not cool? Is that not just the coolest thing? And I think it would be pretty simple to build. I also think I think I would like it better with a roof on it, though. But that's so cool because get you two old swings and put them out there, and that's that's pretty neat, pretty awesome. And there is the pond at Malone's Pond. It is stocked with fish now and uh, getting exciting. We're getting there. We're making progress. The first house will be finished in four weeks. Second house will be finished in about eight weeks, and we are moving right along, and uh, that's the first house. That's the Evans, and it is absolutely gorgeous. It's one of those when you walk in, you go, wow. It's got the wow factor. So, yeah, just a really, really pretty place. And now, there's the good news. Mr. Ella J almost has a new CD in hand. Very, very close. And once he approved the cover last week, that meant it went into full-blown production. And so soon, you're going to get some new music. But today, you're going to get a whole bunch of his good gospel stuff because I promised, I promised several people, yes, I promise you we will play some of his gospel stuff. So we're going to. Now, last week, I asked y'all about this cookbook, and it's the Favorite Eastern Star Recipes. I'm still looking to find out about what year this one was done, and I've done my research. I've tried everything in my power to figure it out. It came out of a house that was built in the 70s, so I would think that, you know, it was around that period of time. 
But if you've ever made, everybody in here, there's, I think every woman in North Georgia must have made a salmon loaf. And I, I'm going to try this. Never heard of it in my life. But this is salmon, baked salmon loaf, delicious salmon loaf, salmon and corn loaf, salmon cereal loaf, cheese salmon loaf. Um, evidently, back in the olden days, and you can tell this is an old cookbook, all the tables were set with salmon loaf. I don't know if I'm going to like it or not, but I'm going to try it. And, uh, you know, I, I'm a, I, I will try some weird stuff. Baked tuna casserole, I've done a bunch, because that's what we used to eat. Poor people, that was like a luxury, because we had tuna, so that was pretty cool. But if you've ever made a salmon loaf, either message me on Facebook, call me, tell me. Tell me if it tastes good or not before I waste my time and energy doing it, but I think I'm going to do it anyway. So, and again, this is an Eastern Star cookbook, and if you know anything about it, please let me know the date, the year it was done. We're going to take you to a very special trip that we made. Matt Dibler drove in from Missouri to be with us one day. He got lost, and he was supposed to be here that morning delivering a message on the show, and then we were supposed to go up to Fields of the Wood. Well, he got here just as we were going off the air because he got lost. He'd been up all night long. He'd had zero sleep. We threw him in the back of the motorhome, took him up to Fields of the Wood where he'd never been, and he stood there and delivered the message you're about to hear. It is the truth. It is comes from the Bible. It comes from his heart, and I think Easter week is a time that we all need to hear this. We all need to go and visit that empty tomb, and right now, well, I don't think we need to go to Jerusalem right now, but if we could go up to Fields of the Wood and just stand and look because it's such a really neat, um, it, it really looks like that tomb. And if you just stand there and realize that, yeah, that stone was rolled away and that tomb was empty and it's still empty today. So we're going to listen to a message from him, a little bit of music from him, and then we're going to share some of Mr. Ella J's great gospel songs. So sit back, relax, and here we go.